So this uh, video is uh, about saving the bees. As you probably know, bee populations worldwide are taking a nosedive. And it's a pretty serious thing. Uh, every year it seems something like, with honeybees and with other bees, it's something like 40% less bees, which is a pretty shocking uh, statistic. So this one is entitled Drill Baby Drill or How Can We Save the Bees. In BC we have a bee called the uh, Blue Orchard Mason Bee and people sell garden shops and private individuals sell little tubes made for the bees so that they can nest in them. And um, People have pointed out that there's other types of bees too which are important to save but um, in BC the effort uh, with our native bees seems to be entirely about the blue orchard mason bee. So I'm going to describe an alternative here which uh, people hopefully will use worldwide and please uh, rate this video and pass on the info and make your own. Spe uh, that's the most important thing. Be proactive and make your own version of this thing. So I'm just going to uh, full screen this. Uh, now I'm going to leave full screen for no particular reason, just for practice. And I'm going to go to another. And uh, here we go. So this is my first attempt to do something, well, second attempt to do something different uh, with regard to bees. So these are little. Um, uh, clay or cob uh, uh, boxes that I made and just stuck uh, various uh, pieces of metal in so big uh, thick pieces uh, sp skinny pieces like spokes uh, there was a couple of um, knitting needles and basically just make uh, random different sized holes some very small ones some big ones and uh, see what would happen. And here is the result. So it's something pretty awful looking with a bunch of holes in it. And you can zoom in and you can't really see anything in the holes, which is kind of pointless. But here we go. In one of the holes you can see this little thing and it looks like a wasp, but it's actually um, a bee that does a wasp mimic, mimic thing. And I've, s I've seen a couple of these in my garden and at night they um, hide in these little holes and uh, there might be something in there too but you can't really see it so anyway they hide in the holes and um, here's the raspberry bush now here is the next stage in uh, the little effort to save the bees so it's raspberries there's a couple of raspberries over on the left and if you zoom in on the raspberry here's uh, something interesting there's a hole now a raspberry bush has a kind of a soft pith in it and there's a hole here, there's a hole here, and zoom out a bit. Um, anyway, we'll go to the next picture. And here's a hole up close. Now, this is a raspberry bush, and there's a hole. So what makes a hole? I tore one apart just to find out. And I found one of these little guys. So this is a bee. It's, I don't know what type it is. Here's another picture of it. So it's pollinating, it might be a wasp actually, but it's pollinating um, uh, onions here. So it has a useful function and it lives in the raspberry bushes. Here's another little bee. Now I've seen these buzzing around some of these holes. So the, this is another bee that uh, here he is on a raspberry uh, leaf. And he makes those little holes too. And I know because I've seen them. So here's another thing. This is a potter wasp nest. For some reason she made it in the joint on one of my walls. The joints in my walls are usually, this is blown up so they're not, you know, three inches across. And this is called an Ichnemian fly or it's a parasitic wasp maybe. And the poor little potter wasp made her uh, nest and this little demon is, see the little spike? has the ovipositor ready to uh, try and find the baby other type of wasp and lay its eggs on it. And I don't know if it succeeded or not. Here is a hole in um, a piece of wood 
and this little guy is a bee looking out pretty anxiously and um, that's the best picture here's another and this is one of these uh, bees that are pretending to be wasps again and um, <coughs> I've seen them visiting flowers and the giveaway is they've got pollen baskets they look really like wasps but they've got pollen baskets on their back legs this here is the typical or um, orchard mason bee um, I'm not sure what this other thing here is but this is the typical cover that they make on the holes when they're finished making them so uh, this is a vine leaf so this is a grapevine I'm uh, sorry stem and there's a hole as well so this is I think this is another piece um, uh, oh sorry I'll go back one so this is another piece of either grapevine or I can't remember or raspberry and they've both got this soft kind of pith in the middle of them so here is uh, my little idea for um, uh, the bees. So in, you can make this type of deal with clay or the cob or just a mud pie, stick the holes into it. But an added feature, um, which I would suggest to you is um, um, make your clay around um, plant stems, raspberry stems because if I in the past when I was a, a, a less messy gardener um, I composted all those raspberry stems so if you compost a raspberry stem and it's full of little baby bees you're not exactly doing anything for the bee population so my suggestion would be come up with your own little enviro man where he's made out of cob or clay or make up a, a bee box made of cob or clay and incorporate into your cob a bunch of raspberry stems and uh, grapevine stems and, and all sorts of hollow stems a variety of them so that the bees have somewhere to hide and to lay their eggs and have their co cocoons over winter because um, if we're super clean uh, gardeners and we compost everything uh, we'll end up uh, basically with no bees and that's not helpful so there's lots of other things you can do as well you can stay away from any kind of uh, BT sprays but without a habitat and we're the main ones for destroying their habitat I think the bees have nowhere to go so um, hopefully um, you know rate the video and mo much more important than that is make your own version and uh, make your boxes take pictures of them do something artsy fartsy you know like a, a, a little cob man or a cob lady who um, you know with hair made of straw or grape, grape uh, vine or raspberry canes and get uh, get a thing going where lots and lots of people are uh, saving um, basically saving the bees from extinction there's a bunch of bees have already gone extinct like uh, three or four types of bumblebees in England I read about and some in Ontario and so that's just the tip of the iceberg anyway thank you um, I'm just going to uh, stop this thing now